Hi guys, and welcome to your interactive chef. I'm Nathaniel. Basically, my purpose is to be here for the Stay Well, Stay Home project, yes? So I'm gonna be showing you how to cook absolutely gorgeous food, yeah, on a budget. Now, times are hard, and when you're in university, I know what it's like, you know which one you're gonna favor. Little drink. So, I'm gonna keep you healthy, I'm gonna keep it on a budget, and I'm gonna keep it simple for you guys. So, firstly, we're gonna be making meatballs, I'm gonna be making homemade burgers and wedges. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, I will say to you, I do I like the flavour some food. So I go out and I buy these, and they're only like a quid, really cheap, and the last month, yeah? So you've got your chilli powder, you've got your pasta, you've got your Cajun, you've got paprika. And oregano is a main key thing in this, yeah? So you need to go out and get some, yeah? Okay? Right, so we'll move on. I've washed my hands. That's vital as well. Make sure you snap some tiger and clean. So basically, very simple. And this, this dinner comes in at £7.15. £7.15 and it's... I mean, the meatball in itself is enough for about six to eight people, yeah? With a side. So, but I'm literally doing burgers as well because I want to show you as much stuff as I can show you at a very cheap price, yeah? So you've got your menu. Bang it in like that. Very easy, very simple. I don't know how long I'm going to be doing these videos for you, but it's basically just to help you in isolation, you know what I mean? It's, it's teaching you how to cook and it's and it's super tasty. What more could you want, guys? You've got your mince, yeah? There you go. So I'm going to put some chilli seasoning. It's not essential, guys, because if you don't eat it or like chilli, it's not essential, yeah? There we go. I'm going to put some paprika in, yeah? I'd say a tablespoon, yeah? There we go. I don't need measure because I'm used to doing it. Cajun. Yeah. And a key thing. In fact, I'm not going to put chopped garlic in. I'm going to use this, actually. You can buy this. If you're not if you're not into chopping stuff and all that, I'm a bit lazy, but ground garlic, yeah? It'll actually be better for this, anyway, for the texture. We're going to do that. Get your hands in. Don't be scared. It's only meat. It's dead. <laughs> but yeah. Right. Well, you just want to do that, guys, yeah? Mold it all together. Now I'm going to use this for the burgers and the meatballs, yeah? I've just picked up low fat beef and pork mince, £2.79. Really, really cheap, guys. Now, I don't know any restaurant that you could go to and have meatballs for £2.79 and a burger. So this is what I'm saying, it's super tasty, super cheap. Now, I shop at loads of different places, but my found favourite now is 100% Aldi and Lidl. I mean, I mean, for example, I'll wash my hands first before I'm touching anything else. But for example, um, your bag of potatoes at the moment at Aldi are 39 pence. Now you can do mashed potatoes, baked potatoes, wedges, chips, everything you could do, masaka. There's loads of different things you can do with potatoes and it's one of them versatile things, it's like eggs, you know, stuff like that you can do a lot with. And it's good to bulk up meals with. And also it's one of your five a day. Right, so you've done that, yep. Now, basically, very easy. It's not hard, it's not rocking science this. Let's take a little bit off that, it's a bit big. Let's go like that. Now I've got a ramekin to the right of me, so I've put that in a pirate dish. Yep. Like so. It's really good like that. Yeah, you got your ball size. I hope you're all keeping safe anyway, guys. And I hope this takes a little bit of the pain away of having to stay in. It's not nice, and I know it's sunny, and I know you're all tempted to go out and uh, socialise, but you can't, yeah? Got to think about it. Stay in and eat food and get fat. And then when, it, when you get out, you can train. I mean, there's some fantastic yoga videos up. Somebody else has um, done a video. I watched it earlier, and it's brilliant. So if, if, if you're on their page on YouTube, go over and give it a watch. Fantastic. It's good for the mind. It's good to stay positive, yeah? So, a little bit off that, about the same size, because you want to cook evenly as well. So, I've made six meatballs there, yeah? Big one, obviously. So, a little bit about myself. I'm really into cooking, yeah, as you can tell, obviously. I'm doing cooking things. But I've had a restaurant. I've worked extensively in cafes, restaurants, most of my adult life. I mean, I left school a little bit younger. 
So I literally got, because I got a job, I was working work experience and I ended up with a proper job out of it. So I was making a full wage, like at a very young age. So I've always had a passion for food. And I mean like food, you know, you can go to a restaurant sometimes and it's just bland. I use a lot of spices and I use a lot of different herbs and stuff, right? You've got your burgers, put that on there. It's one. In fact, I'm gonna get really, really creative. Bugger it. Yeah, I'm gonna use all this cheese anyway, so don't worry. There we go. Right, so, oh my God. mix it in. Mix it in your burgers. Bugger it. Why not? Why not, guys? I like trying new things, you know what I mean? And it's, it's, it's what you gotta do, guys. Not worse than eating the same food every week. I don't. I can't personally do that. I mean, there's me and my friend that live here, and we eat like kings every day. Hands down every day. 100%. Because it's the main thing that keeps the brain going and everything. You've got to eat healthy as well, guys. Try and balance it. I'm not saying don't eat a pizza from Domino's. I'm not saying don't get a kebab. You know what I mean? I know you're going to want all that. It's uni food. It's what you like. But... Try and balance it, guys. I mean, I'm going to make it a healthy burger. Minus the cheese. But the cheese is calcium, so, you, you know, it's balancing it. So, don't tend to fry too many things. I tend to grill. So, I've got my George Foreman, which is cheap enough. You can pick one of them up. Probably about 20 quid. Argos. You know what I mean? So, you're laughing. Cheap. You want to go out, well, you can't at the moment. Get one delivered off eBay or something. You know, because I'll be doing cookery things like that. But you can oven them as well, obviously. Right, so we've got your burgers, you've got your meatballs, guys, yeah? Burgers, meatballs, yeah? Now, for the meatball surprise, it is so simple, yeah? Really, really simple. Move that away. I'll just go wash my hands, guys. There we go, boom, I'm back. One point second. <laughs> right, I am back now. Right, so... You just want to prep. I'm using mushrooms, yeah? Not everybody likes mushrooms, yeah? I get that. A lot of people don't like them. Some people don't like onions and garlic. But... There's not wrong with it, really, you know? I think it's more what they look like. People don't like. Look like slugs, don't they? But they are super tasty. So, you've got your mushrooms chopped. Not how to chop mushrooms. Very easy. Just stick them around. In fact, I'm going to move this so you can actually see. Yeah? There we go. Right, so you've got your meatballs in there, guys. So I'm just going to stick my mushrooms around like that. So easy, so simple, so tasty. Yeah? And that's, what we'll, that's the key thing. Yeah? We want nice flavours. So, simple. Two tins of tomatoes. Yeah? And they're 35p, guys. Really cheap, super cheap. Plum tomatoes, these are. You can use any, it don't really matter. But, I'd, I would say use chopped, it's probably better. There we go. And just pour it in over the top, yeah? Super easy, super tasty. And you want to do that. Don't worry how it looks because it's not going to look like that. Now, I've bought this tomato and pancetta, absolutely stunning flavour, mate. Really, really, really nice, yeah? And that's about 90 pence, 89 pence or something from Aldi, yeah? Super cheap. There we go. And that will be the base of your sauce for it. And I mean, I can smell it now and it's cold. It's not even cooked yet. It smells stunning, yeah? So, give that a little mix round. You know, there's no talent to this. I like my food to look nice on a plate and I'll show you how I present it. But right now, it's due to go in, so there's no worries on that, yeah? So don't worry about how it looks. So there you go. Right. I'm now going to chop an onion, one red onion, there we go, I mean this is perfect, you know, for if you've got quite, I don't know if it, how it works, if you're in dorms or whatever, but you know, obviously in isolation at the moment it's not good, but it'd be good to share food like this, you know, if you've got a few friends around and stuff like that, it's good, there we go, right, very simple, yeah? Keeping it simple for you. Oregano. Now, I love putting cheese on stuff. I'm a cheeseaholic. Can't help it. The more cheese, the better. Well, that's what I say. Terrible. Right. 
And I've just bought this. It's £1.49 from Aldea. Mozzarella. You want mozzarella for stuff like Any pasta dishes, lasagna and stuff like that. Cheshire's all right, the cheese, but it tends to burn. So you're better off with your mozzarella because it can see that stringy, gorgeous texture, yeah? Right. There you go, guys. Boom. Less than 10 minutes I've done that. So I'll be back in a minute. And I'm back. So I've cleaned up, washed my hands, done everything, done the surfaces. Now, another little tip. I use this as a veg board, yeah? I've got a glass one over there for the meat. Do not cross contaminate it because you will end up with a nasty bug. Yeah? Not worth it. Right, so we've got these potatoes here, guys. Yeah? 39 pence from Alder. Really cheap. I'm going to show you how to make them super tasty, yeah? It's all on the budget. It's all on the budget, guys. So, there we go. Start them. There we go. Now you want to wash your veg as well, obviously. Make sure it's washed. And it kills germs putting it in the oven and stuff because of the heat and that, but it's not worth it, honestly. So just stay, stay safe in it. At all times, not just with coronavirus, everything. I just want to be chopping them like that in a wedge shape. Not rocket science, guys. Just like that, yeah? And there we go. Glass dish. Don't worry if you don't have one, it can be a tub, whatever. Give them a wash. Uh, another, another little tip as well, what I found with this lockdown, I've started writing poems, stories, I do cooking, um, started a petition. Find something that you're good at, yeah? Keep your mind going. If you've got computer games, then fair play. I mean, I've got a, I've got a PS3. I love my gaming. You know. Right. So you wash them, guys. Yeah. I ain't left you dirt with them here. So I wash my potatoes. Now, basically, you want some oil for this, yeah. So there we go. Put some oil in. Go like that, mix it round. Because that will seal them, yeah? And not just that, everything will stick to them then. You know, like the sauces and stuff that I'm about to put in. So you've got that there, yeah? Right, paprika. I love my flavour. Yeah? And then chilli powder. Like I said, guys, if you don't like chilli powder, it's absolutely fine. A bit of Cajun. And a bit of oregano. Flavour some food, yeah? What are we aiming for? You don't have to spend so much money going to restaurants and stuff and takeaways when it's right here for you. On a plate, so to speak. And look, look at that. Boom. Done. So simple. There we go. Done. How easy was that, guys? And you know what? 39 pennies for them. So if you add the oil into account and spices which you buy once every couple of months which you've said to you so you've made wedges for probably about 50 pence 50p guys you tell me where you can buy wedges for 50p homemade as well right so they're going right put the meatballs in yeah at 200 and they want to be in for about a good 40 40 to 45 minutes yeah but check on your cooker and check it yeah don't leave it because it'll burn possibly because some will have a gas cooker, some have electric, some have fan assisted, some don't, yeah? So, that's that. So, I will be back in a minute. Right, guys, so I'm back. I've washed my hands again. Basically, salad garnish on your plate, yep. Yeah? So, I'm going to show you a little tasty tip. And this is beautiful. So, you've got your whole grain mustard, yeah? 30 odd p, I think it is. And ketchup, about 70p. Really, really cheap. But I'm going to make you a nice, tasty sauce, yeah? One teaspoon of your mustard. Nice little squeeze of your ketchup. All over my plate, thank you very much. And I'm gonna, oh, what do I fancy putting in? Paprika, why not? Little dash. See? 
You get yourself a new little sauce there. You've made that sauce. That's not a sauce you bought. Well, it is, but you've made it, you've created it and made it better, guys, yeah? So, bottom, just like that. There we go. I need to get lettuce out again for me. Burgers. Very simple, yeah? May on top. Top up one. Now, you don't have to go to Nando's anymore now, do you? Because I'm going to teach you how to do it. I did Nando's rice the other day. Absolutely gorgeous, guys. Really cheap, again. Rice is cheap anyway, do you know what I mean? So, anyway, so do that. There you go. And a bit more cheese, why not? Stick that on your mayo, yeah? So, it'll stick to it then. Just a little coating, because you've already got your cheese in the mince, yeah? In the burgers. So you've got mozzarella stuffed burgers, yeah? Spicy burgers, absolutely stunning, guys, yeah? So there you go, I'll be back. And I'm back. Quick little tip, guys, yeah? Your garlic bread, you can get it for about 85p, the flat one like that, yeah? I'm going to jazz it up for you. I'm going to show you. Just to make something a little bit more tastier. And it's all still on the budget, you're still using the same cheese that you bought. This is crazy, guys. I've made four things now in less than 25 minutes. Obviously, not the food, but you know, what I'm showing you, you know, it's so simple to get nice food. So we've done that, and I'm going to put a bit of chilli powder on them. So chilli, cheese, garlic bread, yeah? Stunning. Yeah? And there we go, guys. So you put your wedges in with your meatballs, yeah? I put them in five minutes after. So the meatballs, I'd say 45 minutes, depending on your cookie, yeah? A gas, a gas mark or electric, 200, yeah? So there you go, guys. I'll be back soon. Right, guys, so I'm, I'm almost ready to put my burgers in now, yeah? I'm using the George Foreman, which is one of these, obviously. Yep. So, but you can do them in the oven, obviously, or grill, or pan fry, whatever, yeah? So I'm gonna put these in. And these are mozzarella stuffed spicy burgers, yeah? Absolutely pen darlings. Right, I'll be back in a minute. Right guys, so you want to put your garlic bread in now, yeah? So put your cheesy chilli garlic bread in, yeah? So that'll be in for about five to ten minutes, yeah? Between that, I'd say about eight, but it depends on your cooker and stuff, yeah? So there we go. Thanks. Be back in a minute. And I'm back. So I'm going to show you just how gorgeous your burgers are looking. Sizzling away. Absolutely gorgeous mozzarella stuff spicy burgers, yeah? So, also, I just want to give myself a chance to say that I do have a YouTube channel, which is Nathan Washnowick. I can spell that for you. N-A-T-H-A-N, Nathan Washnowick. W-A-C-H-N-U-I-K. And just give it a subscribe. There's loads of videos on there. There'll be more every single day I'm putting videos up. So, to give you tasty tips on how to budget and have gorgeous food, yeah? Back in a minute. Chili cheese, garlic bread, absolutely gorgeous this, yeah, bubbling away. And you've got your homemade wedges, your burgers, which have got a seal of cheese all on the top because it's already in there. So yeah, there you go, guys. Back in a minute. And there we have it, guys. Meatball surprise, homemade wedges, salad garnish, mozzarella stuffed spicy burgers, and your chili cheese, garlic bread. Boom. There you go, guys. Look at that. Restaurant type food, all coming at £7.15. Wow. So, as I say, stay home, stay safe, and stay well. And it's all about, it's all about the Stay Well, Stay Home project. Thanks, guys. I'm Nathaniel.